What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Nathan Nichols Be A Pro Career. We're back for the episode where hopefully we're going to meet Munster. But I thought while I was simulating through these games, I thought, well, let's uh, let's see where this season's going to go. And if anything interesting happens, I'll let you guys uh, follow along with how the Hurricanes do go since we watch this season. And amazingly, they've still made um, the preliminary finals. So... We can have a look at uh, the competition info. The Hurricanes have finished still top of New Zealand, equal with the Blues. And fixtures, let's say, here, preliminary finals, we're up against the Rebels. And then it is, oh, that's just our fixtures, sorry. We'll get rid of that. So there it is. Hurricanes, Rebels, Blues, Brumbies will face the Reds and the Bulls for a place in the final. So I thought, well, you guys might be interested to see how the Hurricanes go for the season before we make our way to Munster. So let's follow on through and see Hurricanes over Rebels. Well, well, well. And more injury news. Hugh Renton is out. Look at this. Cuthbert's out. Coles is out. Fafita's out. Kitto's out. Baldwin got suspended. Uh, Jeremiah Davis got injured. I mean, they are in a world of trouble. I went to the wrong screen, which is still broken, by the way. I don't know why. Um, but the squad, have a look at this. It's a damn hospital here at the Hurricanes. Unbelievable stuff. But here we go. Semi final. Hurricanes versus Bulls. What's the result going to be? Are they going to go to a third consecutive final? Or are we even going to see? As player drafting is not always a good sign that you're going to see the result of this match. It's taking its sweet old time here. What is the verdict going to be? It's taking a forever. It's half the world moving or something. Here we go. Here's results. We got, oh, the Bulls have knocked out the Hurricanes, 17-11. Well, there you go. Now, off we go to Munster. Don't know who won Super Rugby, but we are finally with Munster in the Pro 12. Okay, we got we got a news letter here. Munster have announced the signing of former Hurricanes fullback Nathan Nichols for the 2020 Pro 12 competition. Yeah, Nichols has got something to say. I'm excited about being here. They're a great club. With high expectations, Nathan Nichols said at the press conference announcement today. This is only going to make me work harder and keep me on my toes. It's going to be an absolute honor to pull on the Munster jersey for the first time. I can't wait. I, I, I second that, Nathan. I can't wait either. And I think a club like Munster, it is an honor to pull on that Munster jumper. Um, so we're here. We've finally made it. We have missed some of the competition. Although it just says round one, so it seems... Let's have a look at the competition, shall we? Right. Okay, so we haven't actually missed any games. Because it's just all but four have actually played their first match. So, fixtures-wise, yes, there we go. So we've come here perfectly in time for our first match against the Cardiff Blues. So, while we're on the fixtures list, let's take a look as to who we will be meeting in the... Well, the whole season, really. Who we've got to play. Cardiff Blues first up. Then we have Leinster. So look at these ratings straight away. This is what everyone wanted. Wanted it to be a struggle. Wanted it to be a challenge for Munster and for mainly Nathan Nichols to actually get wins. Cardiff is better. Leinster is better. Edinburgh, Edinburgh is bloody good. Um, Scarlets, everyone is better than Munster at the moment. So there's probably our biggest uh, equaliser there is Zebri. Oh, Ulster. Wow, Ulster are bad. Uh, Treviso, 82. There's some good sides here. Uh, there's the... Oh. So, the Euro Club Championship. Heineken Cup. Whatever you want to call it. Um, the European Championship. All sorts of names it's had there. Russing, 92. We're up against. Um, so, so is Treviso. So, that's the Euro Club Championship as well. So, last game's against Ulster. Then it's Treviso and the Euro Club... Oh, okay, whatever. European Championship. Then we have Russing. And then it's back to the Pro 12 before two matches we're up against the dragons then treviso then we go back to connets glasgow back to the european championships of zebri and then we play zebri again and why we play them twice okay that's a bit a bit of poor match scheduling there by the championship organizers back to ospreys in the pro 12 scarlets glasgow again glenn edinburgh so we're twice we're in scotland then back to rusting 92 for the fifth round, and there should be one more round of that, I presume. Connett, 
Um, and then truly so again for the final match. Uh, whether we continue on, we'll give us more matches if we progress through. So a chance at two trophies here. Something we don't get in the Southern Hemisphere is a chance to win multiple championships at the same club. So we're going to take Munster to the high levels here. Cardiff Blues start us off early March. Then we have uh, Dragons again mid-March. And then late March we've got Treviso. We wrap up the last couple of months here with Ulster, Leinster, Ospreys, and then Zebri at the end. So that is a big season. Uh, round 22 plus the six games of the European Championship. Uh, that is, what, 28 games plus playoffs. We're looking over 30 games if we can get you know into either the late stages of the Euro Cup or into the late stages of the Domestic Cup. So... This is going to be a big season. There's going to be a lot of episodes. So let's crack straight into it and meet our team and then get into our games. We can see, you know, the teams that are going to perform straight away. Ulster smashed by Treviso. It's a different world now in 2020. So don't expect the results to go the way they are. Treviso at the top there uh, with a bonus point win. Scarlet's also with a bonus point win. Okay, here's the part we've been waiting for. Let's meet the team. Let's meet Munster. Wow, okay, so we've got a great start here with a French prop, Darcy Tonga Uila. Then we have another Frenchman, um, De Carnielon. Is that he said? De Carnielon? We're going to stick with that. And then it's another Frenchman, John Baptiste Suchet. And then we finally have a Welshman. Where's, I mean, we're playing for Munster. It's an Irish club. Where's the Irishman? We've got Lloyd Ashley. There we go. Alan Sheriff coming into the second row. We've got Craig Rook. And then we have another Frenchman, Castex. I remember that name. Castex has been around for a while. Jamie Gibson. We've got an English number eight. Then we have Lan Moyle at nine. Another Frenchman, Herve. Regis Herve at ten. Marcos Sosa, the Chilean, on the left wing. Then we have Robert Everson, inside centre. Um, okay, so we've got no ratings in the 40, so that's all right. We have uh, Ricard Vidler at outside centre, another Frenchman. Maybe might as well be a French club. And then we have Adam Thompson at the right wing. Now, 59 rated. This is going to be a concern for us. And then, of course, Nathan Nichols <laughs> just makes the rest look like mugs, doesn't he? With 100 rating at fullback. Okay, the substitute bench. Uh, we've got Jack oh, got O'Donoghue, uh, the number eight back row. You know, could, should be in the team there. At number eight for Moyle, but we'll leave that as is. Duncan Casey, we can't change anything, mind you. So here's all the Irishmen. John Ryan, uh, Laporte. He is 45 rated, so we don't want him in the team. Devos Belgian. You can see there. Donny Sexton, Wayne Riley, more Frenchmen. Goodness me, Jocelyn. This is why this is why Munster are going so badly. Look at all the Frenchmen. Nothing against Frenchmen. They are pretty much the second best team in the world, maybe bar Argentina at the moment. Um but Dungary there as well. A Duggary, maybe is how it's said. 52, these are terrible players. I mean, maybe with Nathan and the team get some wins next season, they might bring in some good talent. Who knows? But these are terrible. Look at this. 40s all over the place. 42, 39. What on earth is going on? 46, goodness me. Oh, this is going to be a tough season. You're right. You guys are right. This is going to be tough. This is going to be a hard, hard season. A back line to work with. What do we got? Thompson's going to be nothing. Vidler here and Everson are going to be key for us. Uh, as well as Sosa. So I'm probably going to go with Sosa's. Look at that speed though. What's his speed? 64 and 63. What's Thompson? 65 on both. But these guys here. Yeah, in the 70s. Everson. Oh man. We've got no speed. What's Herb got to offer us? Oh god. Nothing there at all. We're not even captain. Eberson's the captain. Moyle. Oh, man. Oh, man. What have we done? This is a terrible team. We're going to have to work really hard to try and get this side anywhere. They're going to drop the ball. They're not going to pass it to us nicely. This is going to be a struggle with the season. But it's it's breathed new light. Or new life, I should say, into the series. Because it's almost like starting again, isn't it? We're coming to Munster. We're going to make the Munster team great again. Make Munster great again. That's what it's all about. It's, it's so cliche right now, isn't it? Nathan Nichols. Oh, well done. It's been fixed. I like it. We're here for two years. I mean, 
this season it's going to be hard work for this team, but I think if we can do well next season, they will recruit a lot, lot better as well. So we've got to work on that, and we've got the chance here to do something great to Irish Rugby and the club of Munster. This is going to be an interesting year. I hope you're all look, looking forward to it. I'm excited because it's going to be a challenge. And to be fair, at the Hurricanes, we just steamrolled everyone. England did much the same until probably France and Argentina, and now... Life is going to be a challenge. It's going to be like season one all over again. So great thoughts from you guys. Um, you really open up the season once again. Munster have got the damage on. So first match we're up against the Cardiff Blues. That one will be coming next episode. Excited for this. These guys, everyone is going to be a challenge. So hopefully we can get the job done with Munster. And hopefully we can become another heavyweights in the Northern Hemisphere of rugby, like Munster were a few years ago. Nichols is there, he's going to lead the charge, and he's going to bring Munster back to their former glories over the next two seasons. Uh, thank you for everyone who voted on our change to Munster. Hope you're excited about the series coming up. This is what you guys wanted. That's what we're going to be doing. Big matches every single episode. So until match one, thank you all for watching. Hope you're looking forward to this. I'll see you all for Munster versus Cardiff Blues. Until then, thanks for watching and take care.